Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. So on today's video tutorial, guys, we're going to be um, jumping into a very important concept, um, which is parameter, okay? Um, and a lot of learners struggle with this concept. Um, and hopefully after this video tutorial, when you guys have a look at your uh, past papers and you're given questions that require you to determine the perimeter of an individual shape, you are able to then calculate that perimeter, okay, with understanding. Okay, so before we get started with today's video tutorial, guys, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a video tutorial, guys. And please don't forget to give all these video tutorials a huge thumbs up because that really helps the channel grow and it helps the channel to reach more learners that want to better their mathematics marks. So without any further ado, guys, let's get started with today's video tutorial. So like I mentioned, guys, in today's video tutorial, we are going to be defining what is perimeter. What are we actually talking about if we are talking about the perimeter of a particular shape? Okay, so let's say, for example, you are given a soccer field, okay? And maybe you want to paint the boundary or the outline of that soccer field. Okay. What would you do okay, to help you then determine how much paint you'll need to paint that soccer field? The first thing you'd have to do is you'd have to first determine the perimeter of that soccer field. Because if you are able to then establish what is the perimeter of that soccer field, you'll be able to then determine um, then how many liters of paint you would need and so on and so forth. Okay. So what is perimeter, guys? The perimeter of a shape. Okay. is defined as the total length around the outline of a shape okay so if you are given um taking it back to the example that i've given you of a soccer field okay they give you a rectangular shape because i mean a soccer a soccer field is rectangular shape right okay and you wanted to then determine the perimeter of the shape okay the perimeter would then be the length of or the total length of the boundary or the outline of the shape. So we'll just be focusing on the outline of the shape where I'm drawing that red line. And we would just be required to then determine the total length of that outline. So how would we then determine then this length of this particular um soccer field okay let's say we are given that this length of the soccer field is equal to let's maybe say it's two meters the length is two meters and then they gave us that the breadth of the soccer field is maybe 0 0.5 meters how would we then determine the perimeter okay the outline you see, we have outlined the outline of the shape. We would then be required to add the total length of the shape, and that will actually give us the perimeter. Okay, so in this case, to get the perimeter, because we know that this is a rectangle, and we know that the two sides, these two sides are equal to each other, and these two sides are equal to each other, we already know that this side is also equal to 2 meters, and this side is also equal to 0 0.5 meters. To therefore get the perimeter, we just have to add all the lengths of the size of the shape together and that will give us the perimeter okay so we'd add the two meters plus the 0 0.5 meters plus the two meters plus the 0 0.5 meters okay if you were to add two and two gives us four a half and a half gives us one so this is actually equal to five meters okay it's very important that you also note that the units for perimeter is just meters kilometers millimeters centimeters it is just units okay um okay so please take note 
of that as well. So therefore, the perimeter of this shape, okay, would just be five meters. So for us to be able to paint the soccer field, we just need paint that would be enough to just cover uh, five meters of um, length. Okay, so that is the whole concept of perimeter, okay? It's just the total length of the boundary of a shape, the total length of the, out, the all the sides of the shape, so the total length of all the sides of the shape, okay? So if you basically, um, if you've basically grasped that, you will be able to calculate the perimeter of any shape, provided that you, that you are given the total the provided that you're given the dimensions of the sides okay so now let's just have a look at um calculating the perimeter of the following shapes okay let's say you are given so let us basically calculate the parameters of the following shapes okay the first shape we are given a square right the second shape we are given a rectangle the third shape we are given a triangle and I'll also include a, a circle, okay? So how would we calculate then the perimeter of the following shapes? We already know. To get the perimeter of any shape, we just add or find the total length, okay, of all the sides of a shape, okay? So if you're given a square, how would we then calculate the perimeter of a square, okay? So given a square, with the length of a side L, okay? Let's say, for example, we are just given that the length uh, of one side of the square, because guys, we know that a square, all the sides of a square are equal, okay? If we're just given the length of that side as L, okay? How would we get the perimeter, okay? Remember, to get the perimeter, we just need to add up all the sides of uh, the length of all the sides of the square. So in this case, how many sides do we have in the square? got four sides okay so it would be this length plus this length plus that length plus that length so to get the perimeter it will be length plus length plus plus length plus length if you were to just simplify this it's just saying four length okay so the formula that we use to help us calculate the perimeter of a square right is four l Okay, so in this case, how would we then calculate the perimeter of a square that has a length of 5 meters? Okay, we just simply say perimeter is equal to the 5 meters plus 5 meters plus 5 meters plus 5 meters, which is the same as just saying 4 multiplied by L or 4 multiplied by five meters okay what is four multiplied by five four multiplied by five is 20 meters remember units for perimeter is just units okay meters centimeters millimeters kilometers all right because we can see here we didn't multiply the meters with any other meters it's just meters okay now let's have a look at calculating the perimeter of a rectangle okay to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle, guys, we already know, okay, from just the introduction, we know that the two sides of our rectangle are equal to each other. So if this is my length, this is also the length. If this is the breadth, okay, this is also the breadth, okay. How do we basically um, create the formula that we use to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle? We already know that the perimeter is just adding all the lengths of all the sides of your shape okay in this case if the length is length so we're going to take that length plus the breadth plus the length plus the breadth okay so it's going to be length plus the it's going to be length plus the breadth plus the length plus the breadth okay how can we just simplify this if you were to just collect the like terms length plus length okay this is just we can just write this as two length okay plus if you collect the like terms b plus b b okay this is the same as just writing it as two b okay which is the formula that we use to calculate the perimeter of a rectangle two l plus 2b because we've got two sides that are equal in length 
okay and we've got two sides that are equal in breadth okay so now let's calculate the perimeter of this rectangle taking into consideration that perimeter is just the length of the outline of our shape okay so it will just be perimeter of this rectangle with a length that is equal to 7.5 centimeters and a breadth that is equal to 4 centimeters is equal to remember we can just say 2 what is our length 7.5 centimeters plus 2 what is our breadth 4 centimeters okay then 2 multiplied 15 centimeters plus 2 multiplied by 4 that gives us 8 centimeters 15 plus 8 gives us 23 centimeters guys it's not centimeters squared because we are not multiplying okay it's just centimeters all right now let us calculate now the perimeter of a triangle remember if you want to calculate perimeter guys we just want to add up all the lengths of the sides find the total length of all the lengths of the sides of our triangle okay so in this case if we were just given the following dimensions for our sides of our triangle to get the length of uh, the perimeter of a triangle okay what will we do perimeter okay of the triangle will be equal to five millimeters plus five millimeters plus eight millimeters five plus five is ten plus eight is eighteen millimeters okay so then the perimeter to get the perimeter of your triangle is just the side plus side plus side okay that is how we get the perimeter of our triangle okay now what happens if you wanted to calculate circle okay and you had to then determine the perimeter remember the perimeter or the outline of the circle so when we dealing with now with the circle okay we call the perimeter of the circle the circumference okay and how would we then get the circumference or the outline of the circle the formula that we use to help us determine the outline of our circle is two multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius okay so if we are given a circle that has a radius of eight meters and we wanted to determine the circumference we wanted to determine the perimeter remember we use circumference when we're talking about the perimeter of the circle, we would just then use this formula of 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius. So it's going to be 2 multiplied by pi. I'm going to use 3.142 multiplied by our radius of 8 meters. Okay, so if you punch this into your card, 3.142, you will get that then the perimeter of the circle is actually equal to 50.272 meters because we're not multiplying that meters with any other meters it's just meters okay and remember if you are basically given a diameter maybe they said that the diameter is equal to 16 and we wanted to then calculate if our diameter is 16 meters and we wanted to calculate the circumference first thing we'd have to do take your diameter because you remember we know that to get your radius radius is equal to the diameter divided by two so we take that diameter we divide it by two first to get the radius then we substitute it into our formula okay or another way that we can just look at this is that we can just say another way that we can also look at this to calculate the circumference of the circle you can also then say that the circumference okay or we can say that the circumference is equal to let's say you just wanted to use the diameter to help you calculate the circumference we're going to take this formula we're going to write it the way that it is because remember it's two times pi 
times radius i'm just showing you guys how we can basically derive formulate a formula that just has your diameter it's going to be two multiplied by pi multiplied by what is the radius remember we know that the radius is actually equal to diameter divided by two so when we see a radius we're going to put d divided by two so from here when we see radius we're going to put d over two all right and then what do we notice the two and the two cancel so if you wanted to calculate the circumference of a circle by just using the radius it will just be pi multiplied by d okay so both these equations okay can be used to calculate the circumference of a circle okay so maybe if we give you a multiple choice question saying can you use pi times d to calculate circumference you'll know that you actually can because you would have derived that equation from that two multiplied by pi multiplied by r equation all right so i hope you guys enjoyed um this introduction for how you're supposed to calculate the perimeter of your shapes okay i hope that you guys i hope just the video just makes it more simpler and easier um, for you guys to then understand this concept okay okay in the next video we're just going to be looking at more just practical application we're going to be calculating the perimeter of the following shapes um that are given to us we are given um a square with dimension with a length six we're given a rectangle you are also given a circle and triangle and we're going to be looking at this very interesting activity where we have to calculate the perimeter per parameters of these following shapes okay so please make sure that you have your notification bells turned on so that i can basically um apply explain these concepts to you guys okay so i'll see you guys on my next upload and that is it guys and i'll see you guys on my next upload a distance learning with lee where i make learning mathematics super easy guys.